have a fun story to tell in this video and a special guest. It's going to be longer than my usual video, so hang tight, grab some coffee, and stay tuned to the end to see finished photos of this entire piece. I'm going to tell you a story about something that happened to me this week. I got a call from a producer of a very, very big television show, a big one on the same level as the Oprah show. Not the Oprah show, but something big like that. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I've auditioned to get on TV many times. When I get comments from you that say, you should have your own show, I wanna say, this is a show. This right here is a show. In the beginning, I wanted to be on TV, and then I started auditioning and I started seeing the other side of it, now I don't feel that way anymore. So back to the phone call. It says, Debbie, we are looking for people who like to do DIY, but who have had projects go wrong. I sent them some videos. There was one video in particular, which I will put the link to down below, where Bobby and I get in this argument about this dresser that I painted. The producer liked that video. And they said, we're looking for people who have tried to do something over and over again, but it hasn't quite turned out right. Do you have any projects like that that you're currently working on? I immediately thought about the turquoise iris. Ever since I found Dion from the turquoise iris, I've been stalking her Facebook page. I'll find a picture of a piece of furniture that I really like, and I'll take a screenshot of it, and then I'll blow it up as big as I can, and then I'll analyze every single brush stroke. I was just trying to crack the code on how she does it. I didn't want to ask her directly. At the time, I didn't know her, and I thought that it would be really rude to send her an email and say, tell me all your secrets. But then she gets on her Facebook page and she says, hey, if you want to learn how to paint like me, just go to Etsy and for $10, you can watch my video and I'll show you everything that I do. Of course, I bought the video and then I tried to paint like her again and that didn't work out. Then I decided to email her and then I invited her to come teach in Delaware and she said that she was gonna do it. We get to Delaware. The first thing I do is sign up for her workshop. So there's eight of us in this barn and there's Dion in real life and she's teaching the workshop and we've all got our things to paint and everybody's doing what she says and she's showing us how she does it and she's blending the colors. I can finally do it, I see it. It's happening right before my very eyes. And so then I, I had this like cabinet door that I was gonna try and do it and everybody had the same exact colors, the same tools, everybody was doing it but mine looked like S-H-I-T. It looked bad. Here I am, the leader of the DIY paint, and these are all the people selling my paint, and there's Dion, and Debbie can't do it. It was way too drippy. It looked like all the different layers of color were just like crashing together, like some kind of train wreck. And then I came home, I thought, well, maybe it was just stage fright because everybody was watching me. So I tried to paint this chair, and this right here is the chair that I tried to paint. It looks like it was wounded in battle. Can you, can you see it? It's not good, in, especially in real life. I sent the picture to Dion. She told me that I needed to blend the colors together more. Where was I? I don't even know where I am in this story now. I'm explaining to the producers all about Dion and how I've tried and tried to paint like her and I still can't get it. And so then the producer is like, well, can you send us some photos of Dion's work so we can see this amazing person? I send the producers five of my favorite pieces of furniture that she's painted, and they immediately email me back, and they're like, oh my gosh, she's really good. This is amazing. We want to know how to do it too. Great. Well, I know her. We're friends, and I have her contact information. So I give the producers of the Big Big Show Dion's phone number and her email address, I asked Dion's permission first. She said, yeah. And so then they call her and they start telling her, okay, Dion, we're gonna have Debbie on the show. We're gonna have her talking about how she's tried to paint like you and how it totally went wrong. And then we're gonna show pictures of your furniture and we're gonna give you credit. And then we're gonna have our expert tell Debbie what she did wrong and what she needs to do to make her furniture look like yours. And then Dion says, does your expert know how to paint like me? And the producer says, no, 
she doesn't know. She's gonna look on your Facebook page and by the way, do you have any tutorials? It just didn't feel right to me. Nothing against the show. They already had a plan in place. They had this expert already there. I'm not criticizing their show, but I just, I couldn't picture myself on the show letting some person tell me how to paint when that's what I do for a living and that's what Dion does for a living. So I very politely sent them an email and suggested that Dion should be the one to tell me how to paint her look. They're like, well, no, that's not really the plan. I totally understood, but I had to very politely say, I don't think that this will work. They were very pleasant and they, you know, were sorry that it won't work. After that, I was kind of disappointed and I was a little bit angry that the TV people don't get the whole YouTube thing. And I was trying not to have sour grapes. And then I thought, you know what? That was a really good idea. I'm just gonna take their idea and I'm gonna make a video about it. I send Dion a message and I'm like, will you make a video and will you tell me exactly how to paint that piece of furniture that they love the most and give it to me step by step, word for word, so I can get it right this time. And so she did. I'm gonna play it for you. I'm gonna follow her instructions and I'm gonna try and do it again. If I don't get it right this time, then I may just fly her to California and have her make a video with me. Or maybe I'll have everybody tweet the big TV show and tell them that Dion and I need to get on there. So here's the video that Dion sent me. I'm gonna play it for you in segments. Here's the first thing that she told me to do. All right, my friends, time for a little heart to heart. We're gonna go through this step by step. You are gonna recreate this finish. You can do it. You will do it, and I'm gonna tell you exactly the steps. So you're gonna take that piece, and you're gonna cover the entire thing with the fabulous shade of Bohemian Blue, okay? Just get one coat on there, okay? Let it dry. Go ahead and give it another. I'm recommending you roll it on with this. Don't go anywhere. This is the smooth. This is the jam. This. Get it on there. I think it's just like hers. It might not be the super smooth one. It might be a little too fluffy. And I've got the Bohemian Blue. I'm gonna roll it all over the piece back there. And I'm gonna let it dry, just like she said. DIY paint is clay-based and it's perfect for layering and blending because it's highly pigmented and it doesn't separate. I put the first coat of Bohemian Blue on with a roller. You want one smooth, solid layer that covers completely, but isn't too thick. She said that I need to put the mermaid tail on next, and I need to do it like eyeshadow. This could be the problem, because if you were to see my eyeshadow, I, it, it's, it's, um, it looks like a kid put it on. I guess you would cover your whole eye with the bohemian blue first and then put the mermaid in the middle. The water bottle will be like the blending brush. When I put my eyeshadow on, it looks kind of crazy, and then I take the blending brush and I just smear it all together, and then I tell myself that it looks good. <laughs> just watch the tape, and that's what she said, so that's what I'm gonna try and do. I want you to grab your mermaid tail, and I want you to have your water bottle in one hand and your mermaid tail lightly on your brush. I want you to squirt the middle of the drawer and I want you to rub that mermaid tail in the middle, in the middle, okay? Then I want you to go back to your boho blue and I want you to rub and you get those drawers or the front of your door smooth where the mermaid tail's in the middle like you would an eye, okay? Think of it as eyeshadow. You're gonna have your highlighter color and your brow color and your, um, What's the one in the middle? The deep color, that's the one. We're gonna let it dry. I used a spray bottle full of water to blend Bohemian Blue and Mermaid Tail, putting the lighter shade in the middle areas, alternating between both colors to create a soft blended look. I need the Marquis the Layer Chocolate and the Queen Bee, and I need this right here. This is 
the putty knife. I had no idea when I was trying to copy her before I knew her. This is her secret weapon. It's one of the things that makes the paint look really weathered out like it's been on there for a long time. Now I know it and I'm gonna let you hear what she says about it because it's good. You're gonna get your marquee and you're gonna add a little bit of our brown. We want it more muddy. We don't want it bright like a marquee. I want it subtle. Mix it up, mix it up. Match the color in the picture as close as you can. Then grab your queen bee. Take this thing. I want you to dip it in your red muddy color. And I want you to smear it over that piece in little sections. Pick places like here. Pick places like here where there's a seam right here and go this. I want you to wipe it off on a rag and I want you to do it again. Wipe it off again. Okay? Spray. Let it drip. Let it drip. Then get your yellow. Okay? Wipe it. Squirt it. Then last but not least, you go back to your mermaid towel. I want you to dip it and I want you to just get it on there like this. Just have it mushy and then blast it with your water and then let it run. Okay? This is something you can do. I know you're gonna do it this time. I know, I know, I know, I know. I mixed a little bit of layered chocolate with Marquee to create a muddy red color. Then I used the putty knife and the water bottle to create blended layers of color. You want to use the putty knife with a light hand so that you don't scratch the surface. This process is fun and just a matter of experimenting until you get the look that you want. I had a little trouble controlling the paint in the grooves, so I decided to use my finger for the detailed areas. You can also use the putty knife to take paint off completely in areas that you would normally sand down. This saves a lot of work and looks more authentically worn over time. Clear wax and dark and decrepit. The clear wax goes on first and then the dark wax goes over it before it dries so that the dark wax doesn't get too dark. If you think that it looks too dark, then you just wipe it with a with a paper towel or with a rag. I'm gonna play the last part of Dion's video. You can hear what she says. So then you go back with your dark and decrepit and you do your shading in the various areas to make the piece just look worn and weathered. And you're gonna do a fabulous job. I'm right here if you need me. Last step is to add the dark and decrepit wax, working in sections and using the clear wax first as a buffer. This will help you control the amount of dark wax on your piece. You can also use the clear wax over the dark like an eraser in case you put too much on. The wax will dramatically deepen the color and then lighten back up after it dries. Wait for it to dry and then buff with a soft cloth. Let me know in the comments if you have ever tried this finish, and if you have, post a picture on Instagram using the hashtag DoTheDion so we can find your project and share it. like it's good. I feel like it's a B plus or an A minus minus. Let me know in the comments what you think about it and if you want to meet Dion and ask her questions she is going live this Friday at 11 o'clock Eastern Central Time on her Facebook page. I'm gonna be there. You can ask questions about how she paints and find out more about this finish. I put the link to Dion's page down below. And subscribe if you wanna see more videos. I'm gonna try and start posting once a week. I'm really gonna try. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Click the link below to Dion's Facebook page and to meet her with your questions live this Friday. 
To find a DIY paint retailer near you or to become one, click the link below. Thanks for watching.